everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do just a simple flower design on a green glass bottle I've already cleaned it with soap and water and wiped it off with rubbing alcohol after removing the labels and I went ahead and did dotting on the bottle with engine red and I used a clay ball a stylus to create the dots. So I just stuck it in the paint and then went through and pounced it on in, in just random patterns. What I'm going to use then to create some flower design on here is 14 karat gold folk art multi-surface paint and I have a nice little cap here that I use to make lines with. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do a few of them because this is very time consuming and then I'll come back and show you I may not even do all of the dots, I may just do some because it is kind of time consuming when I went to do it on my sample paper. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to take forever to do this amount of dots. But I'm just basically doing the lines and trying as much as I can to divert up. Now I made this one kind of small, so it's probably not going to work as well. I'll just come out here a little bit with the the petal for the next one and I just want them to be really just kind of random and loose they don't have to be precise or a certain length height width whatever it's just trying to create petals around the dot very simply and I like the gold with the green and the red and I said on this one I did not put overlap it. You don't have to do it on all of them. And you could even just leave it kind of funky looking like this, but I'm going to go ahead and add another petal into it and just pull it into the next one. If you put this the tip too close to the glass and it's going to you know pull it kind of give you a little streak. So just to be aware of that. All you have to do is just go back over it if it does that. And with this, I would just let it dry. Since it's on a bottle, it's a little bit thicker, so I mean you can bake it. That's not a problem. I just the only concern I would have is is it bubbling when you when you do that. I don't think it's thick enough to really cause any issues, but just so you're aware that can happen. When your paint's a little thicker. Of course, I'll bring it over here a little bit. Again, you may not be able to get them through each one through the center, but that's okay. You don't have to. Just kind of a random design, just a very free design. And you can go like that. And I'm not going to do any leaves, so just so you're aware of that. But you can do it like space it out. Maybe you can do a different kind of leaf. It's thick, so you may get some of that. That's part that I might be a little concerned about it bubbling when you bake it. But this still could, you know, be considered a design for the holidays. The other thing too with this, you could go around and just do simple little petals with a brush without just doing the line work like this. And you could just leave some of it without any because as we know in nature it doesn't always come up perfect. And then you just go like that. I'll just do the front of the bottle even though I have have my dots all the way around the bottle. For the purpose of the video, I'll just do the front side. Again, this is just going to be a quick video, which a lot of my recent ones have been. And if you feel like it's covering up too much of the center, you can come back in and go over it with more red dots if you want. And 
And you can make these petals a little bit bigger if you wish. I think they're kind of fun though. Just kind of loose, random. And you could put little stems on them too. Now I just have to be careful I don't stick my arm in here. Which I would be really good at doing. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that's always an issue for me to not roll it or put my hand or arm in it. Or fingers, paintbrushes, all that good stuff. Anyhow, they're kind of cute. Again, just very easy. Just draw on the petals. And you can make them different shapes. You don't have to drag them through the center of the, the one next to it. I just thought it would be, since we're not filling them in completely, it would be a nice way to uh, just add some more interest in them. If it's going through the next petal, just kind of connects it all together. If you're new to glass painting or bottle painting, please let me know down below if there's anything in particular you'd like to see me work on. Or if you have any questions, please leave questions down below the video. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe I'll do one more and then call it just so I don't like so I don't want to roll it roll it over here. This might be something where you do part of it and then you let some of it dry and then come back and finish it so that you're not taking that chance. But this I think would look really pretty with the light in this inside of it. And I do. I use the wine bottle cork style fairy lights in my bottles that I sell. And they're just a fun, unique gift too. Especially with the holidays coming. How precious. Alright. So there you go. So far. If you have any questions, like I said, let me know down below. Alright, so I just wanted to show you. I went ahead and finished all the flowers. And uh, here you go. I think it's pretty cute. Just simplistic. But put some lights in there and you'll be good to go. Alright, I hope you like this simple design. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And before you leave, share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. It's very easy to do. Just hit that share button underneath the video and it will give you the options of where you want to share it. Alright, until the next time, stay safe and healthy and have a good one.